Good morning guys and Merry Christmas! Well, this video is going to be my last one for 2021 although that you will still see one more video that is already scheduled for release next Tuesday is going to be very interesting um, but this is really my last one and uh, as you may have seen my community post that my son has contracted um, COVID-19 and uh, he's tested positive earlier this week uh, our whole family has already done uh, the PCR test and uh, we all show negative um, I have also done daily natural flow test um, because I you know I have to uh, still do my business uh, so that's why I'm out here today in central London so uh, uh, just to do another photo shoot I've got one more before the end of the year uh, but that will be basically it for the whole 2021 just to wrap it up but anyway and uh, just a few quick words uh, to uh, you know seasonal greeting really you know just to say Merry Christmas and hope that you guys, uh, wherever you are, uh, you know, hold on to your family, give them a big hug, big kiss, you know, just enjoy this festive season. Um, you know, this is the best time for it, you know, for me. Uh, it's also a time to rest a little bit, uh, having been kind of challenging year uh, so far. And uh, it's a little bit better compared to 2020, I have to admit. But still, I still find it quite challenging for me, both uh, personal and also uh, uh, business-wise. Uh, YouTube, as you can see there, I still, I don't think I'm that consistent yet. Uh, I, there are so much stuff I want to do, so much uh, places I want to go to, uh, but I just haven't been able to, you know, time-wise and uh, all the illnesses that I have endured this year. Um, the, yeah, you guys, if you follow me, you know that I've been posting, updating you guys on Instagram and also Facebook and, uh, and uh, through the community post uh, within YouTube here. Um, so it, it, it has been okay for 2021 but yeah it's it, to me i think that uh it could be better but anyway i'm hopeful that 2022 is going to be a lot better um that's for sure um so i'm just hoping that this omicron uh thing is gonna you know die down very soon but you know you never know because uh i think after boxing day london is going to go into another strict restrictions again uh they're not going to cancel christmas now because uh, uh you know like what we lost last year was basically unbelievable and, uh, and to many people it's, it's just not very very nice so we, we we're keeping christmas this year but you know because of the rising cases now you may have heard the news already london has already surpassed 100,000 uh, uh cases uh, per day uh yesterday so uh you know it's going to continue to go up until the peak hits and before it comes down again uh but you know no matter how you look at it it's quite a you know, big number. So that means that uh, we are going to go into some sort of restrictions uh, after Christmas, after Boxing Day. That's so I heard uh, from the government anyway. But um, so let's let's put all this rubbish stuff away because this is a photographer channel. I hope you guys enjoy yourself and uh, also just uh, uh, take some photographs. Your food, your family, you know, opening presents, and uh, that's what I'll be doing because I'll be at home. You know, we're not seeing any other family members, unfortunately, because of my son's uh, conditions. Uh, you know, he has to be clear. Uh, basically, you know, it's already gone past Christmas by the time he, he recovers from COVID 19. But anyway, this is really a short message. I am actually testing a new lens. You can see that uh, this is the uh, uh, TT Artisan 23mm 1.4. If you guys are interested, remember to stay tuned for my future review because this lens is tiny. Look at that. This is on my EM1 Mark III. It's really small. And uh, uh, for a 23 1.4, <laughs> this is tiny. Really small. I think smaller than the Panalaika 50mm 1.7. And don't forget, this is a 1.4 lens. I know this is the manual focus, but it's still a very small lens. I'm not going to say much. I don't want to spoil it. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. So you have to stay tuned for my review. But anyway, and uh, <laughs> nothing else I could say enough for Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So enjoy yourself. I'll see you all next year. Bye for now.彼の残した言葉の中にもあるんですが、いい写真を撮るための最初の条件、これはカメラを持っていることだと。彼が一番思考していたのは多くの人にいかに写真を撮ってもらうか。1960年代、前谷さんというあのオリンパスの技師さん
当時はまだ高級品なので前谷さんをはじめとする開発の方々が多くの人に使ってもらうにはどうしたらいいかって考えた中でカメラ自体をもっと安く作りたい当時 6,000 円で作れないかっていうふうにできたカメラですそして当時高かったフィルム代現像代をその少しでも負担を減らしたいそうしたらハーフサイズのカメラを作ろうそうすると倍取れるのですごく経済的です 35mm カメラの24枚だと 48m ですそれがあの非常に画期的だということで、えー、使われたペンが出た時にオリンパスを持って家族写真を撮ったりなんかする人が非常にいましたんですね主にプロを中心として使う機材が変わってきていたそのなるべくいいものを作ろうと各社していてどうしても大きくなってしまっているその中でマイタにはやっぱりプロが本当に求めるものってそういうことなのかっていうことに疑問を感じてその中で生まれたのが OM1 だと考えています結局彼がこれ集大成なんですねやっぱりかなり命が引き込まれたカメラではないかなっていうふうに僕は思いますこの時にニュースペーパービジネス It was just coming off the time when tuna quarter was kind of the equipment preferred. The guy that hired me came from the speed graphic day, the four by five. As technology progressed, all of a sudden it was accepted that 35 millimeter was great for newspaper work. It's not as physically imposing as a larger camera. The more I become invisible, the more I can become part of the scene. The more the photographic opportunities present themselves to me, the camera it becomes a productive tool. It's there for a purpose. Maitani realized that, and that drove the original design of the OM. When you put it in your hand, everything was where you wanted it to be. Aperture is right here. My two front fingers take care of that. Other fingers fall back to the shutter speed. It's an enabler. It's a conduit, not an interference between you and what's happening. 1996年にオリンパスは最初の民生品のデジタルカメラを出したわけですけれどもフィルムであろうとデジタルであろうとないものを作るというのは全社共通で今でも一番ベーシックなところに流れているのではないかなと考えますデザインを検討するときにスケッチを書いて最初検討してこの次にですね 3D データを入れてからこのようなラフな削りのモデルを作りますでこれをベースにボタンの位置が適切であるかとかあるいはクリップ性能はこれでいいかとかっていうのを、えー、検討していくんですけれども我々が一番に考えていることはやはり使われる方ユーザーのことです。Size and portability and mobility in photography is a message that we've been talking about for decades. The philosophy of the Olympus cameras is, is being able to shoot everywhere. We had a photographer go to Antarctica, and obviously, you've got crazy low temperatures there. We created technology that enables them to do that. If you were that customer, what would the end solution be that you would want? It's important to always be thinking about. What do people need? What are they going to need? What's the future going to be? And to aspire to deliver that. The world is a very important thing. The most important thing is the most important thing. The most important thing is the most important thing. The most important thing is the most important thing. その当時の家族の思い出がやはりそこに残っているってみんなが思うので思い出を取り戻したいという気持ちがあると思うんですつまり写真にはそれだけの力があると思っていますこれは
wonderful confirmation it is of you as a human. This is who we are and who we were. Now, the thing is that 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 the thing is これこそが社会に対するオリンパスの役割だと思っています。